Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm here to bring you a quick book dig. The book tag I'm going to be doing for you guys today is the non-disclaimer book tag. It's from Catalyst Reads. Michael created it, or at least the one I'm doing. Pretty sure that's where it came from anyways, but here are the questions. Question number one, which trope or tropes in books annoys you the most? Probably where the girl doesn't realize how her world could be changed or altered until a boy or a love interest comes in and totally shatters their way of thinking. Like, I understand it to an extent, but also it's ridiculous. Like, ah, oh, just the overly dependence on men or love interests drives me freaking crazy. Question number two is what writer or writers do you think are overhyped? And this is not gonna win me many points, but Marissa Meyer, I think that her books are good. Like, I enjoy them. They're really interesting. She's very creative. But I don't think they're as good as everyone made me think they would be. I think out of the Lunar Chronicles four books and the one fairest, I only really, really enjoyed one of them and I still didn't give it five stars. Whereas other people were giving them five out of five out of five out of five and I just could not relate. Question number three is what is your least favorite reads or reads since joining booktube? I got a few. Into the Deep Blue, I think it's what it's called, by Jennifer Donnelly. Everyone who's watched this channel for a while knows how disappointed I was by this mermaid book that was not at all what I thought it was going to be. Uh, Ferris by Marissa Meyer, it annoyed me to no end. And probably When It Happens by Suzanne Colasanti. Colasi I don't know, I read it recently and it was so annoying and frustrating and it was definitely an old contemporary that just... Ugh, reminded me why I didn't like contemporary for a long time. Question number f question number four is a terrible ending that ruined an otherwise great book. Uh, I don't even know if I have an answer for this. Most of the time if I don't like a book, I don't like it from the beginning or I'm like, it just never grows on me. So I don't think there was ever a point where the ending was like, what the fuck? Maybe Gone Girl. But I read that for book club and we all kind of had the same opinion. Maybe Gone Girl. Question number five, it's which fictional characters do you wish were not killed off? And I'm just gonna hold this up. This. Also in the first one, but this overall killed me a little bit. Question number six, or what are some of your bookish pet peeves? Um, when people read books out of order, why would you do it? It's rude. You're not even taking the author's full work into consideration. Ah! Or when they make like the weirdo, I don't even know where they are, but the books that have the paperback cover and then it's shorter than whatever's on the inside and then it just gets all flimsy and dumb and it's irritating. <laughs> Question number seven are books that you wish had more recognition, and I wish more people made it to King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard just so I had some more people to discuss it with. I also wish more people kind of talked about B.C. Andrews. Yes, I know her books are pretty problematic, but they're kind of what I grew up reading, and I want someone else to feel with me how I felt while reading Flowers in the Attic, because it took me for a whirlwind. Question number eight are, what are your thoughts on banned books? Um, I think it's ridiculous. I think if you're under 13, your parents should be able to kind of help you decide what's appropriate and what content matter you can handle. But then after that, I think you should be able to read what you feel is right. Because you have the power to choose which stories you listen to. Whether that be movies, music, literature. And also, I recently read The Hate You Give and learned that they're trying to not put that in schools in the US, and that's freaking ridiculous. It is one of the most important books I have read this year. Why would you do that? Question number nine is who do you tag? Uh, I tag anyone who's interested, because that's a cop-out answer, and I have nothing better to say. I hope you guys have a great weekend. We will see you next week with another video, hopefully a review, and yeah. I hope you have a great reading month. Bye!